Bump Fire, Wikipedia article audio. In firearms, bump fire is the act of using the recoil of a semi-automatic firearm to fire shots in rapid succession, which simulates the ability of a fully automatic firearm. Bump fire stocks, gun stocks that are specially designed to make bump firing easier, are of varying legality in the United States. Sales are illegal in some states, and in several other states the regulatory status is unclear. Mechanism Limitations The bump firing process involves bracing the rifle with the non-trigger hand, releasing the grip on the firing hand, pushing the rifle forward in order to apply pressure on the trigger from the finger, and keeping the trigger finger stationary. During a shot, the firearm will recoil and the trigger will reset as it normally does, then, the non-trigger hand pulls the firearm away from the body and back to the original position, pressing the trigger against the stationary finger again, thereby firing another round when the trigger is pushed back. Normally, a rifle is held securely and firmly against the shoulder but the loose shoulder hold that creates the rattle to rapidly depress the trigger affects accuracy in a way that is not encountered with firearms that are designed for select fire. A similar method can be employed with semi-automatic pistols, in which one hand holds the grip, two fingers are placed in the trigger well, and then the grip hand shoves the firearm forward while the trigger fingers remain stationary. With revolvers, rapid fire can be achieved by using two trigger fingers firing offset. All these techniques greatly degrade the accuracy of the firearm. The techniques trade accurate, aimed fire for an increase in the firearm's rate of fire. The inaccuracy renders the practice uncommon for precision target shooting but is increasingly popular for applications where volume of fire is favored over accuracy. None of these techniques fire more than one round with a single trigger pull, rather they compensate for biomechanical limitations associated with how fast a finger can repetitively pull the trigger. With bump firing, it is common to use all the rounds in the firearms magazine, but it becomes easy to create a stoppage as the cycling of all semi-automatic firearms requires the bolt to move against the stationary firearm. The bolt must complete the stroke against the spring, and that doesn't happen if both the bolt and spring are moving rearward. Non-bump fire rifles can suffer the same failure from fouling or for undercharged ammunition. Blanks also can cause these failures. Additionally, it is possible that if a gun is bump fired too fast, then the hammer will be released before the bolt closes. This will either cause the hammer to ride the bolt carrier without firing the chambered round or cause the firearm to slam fire. Bump Fire Stocks Bump fire stocks are gun stocks that are specially designed to make bump firing easier which allows semi-automatic firearms to mimic the firing speed of fully automatic firearms. They can achieve rates of fire between 400 to 800 rounds per minute. As of 2017 bump fire stocks in the United States sell for about $100 and up. Devices may be employed to aid in bumping. However, not all such devices or modifications are legal. A famous example in the U.S. is the case of the Aikens Accelerator for the Ruger 1020 seconds. Though the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms and Explosives initially approved the device, they later reversed this ruling in 2005, two years after they had approved it for sale. This reversal was made due to a difference in the device submitted for approval and the device issued for sale. An additional spring was added after approval which caused the withdrawal. It has since been returned to market. Regulatory Status in the United States 
The Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms and Explosives ruled in 2010 that bump stocks were not a firearm subject to regulation and allowed their sale as an unregulated firearm part. The ATF does not track production, so no one knows how many are in circulation. In the 2017 Las Vegas shooting, 12 bump fire stock devices were found at the scene. The National Rifle Association stated on October 5, devices designed to allow semi-automatic rifles to function like fully automatic rifles should be subject to additional regulations, and called on regulators to immediately review whether these devices comply with federal law. The 2017 shooting generated bipartisan interest in regulating bump stocks. On October 4, 2017 Senator Dianne Feinstein introduced a bill to ban bump stocks, but as of November 3, 2017, no congressional action had resulted. On November 3, 2017, Massachusetts became the first state to enact a ban on both sale and possession of bump stocks after the Las Vegas shooting. Sale of bump stocks had been illegal in California since 1990, legal status is unclear in Connecticut, Hawaii, Maryland, Michigan, Minnesota, Puerto Rico, and Washington, D.C. Patent Infringement Suit Bump stocks were banned in New York with the passage of the New York SAFE Act in 2013. In his final day as governor in January 2018, New Jersey Governor Chris Christie signed legislation making the gun accessory illegal in New Jersey. On February 20, 2018, President Trump proposed regulatory bans on devices, including bump stocks, that turn weapons into machine guns. On March 9, 2018, after the 2018 Stoneman Douglas High School shooting, the state of Florida enacted SB 7026, which, among other things, banned bump stocks. Some parts of the bill took effect immediately, but the portion banning bump stocks takes effect October 1, 2018. Slide Fire Solutions filed suit against Bump Fire Systems for infringement of its patents on bump stock designs in 2014. The suit alleged that Bump Fire Systems infringed eight U.S. patents, for example, United States Patent Number 6,101,918 entitled Method and Apparatus for Accelerating the Cyclic Firing Rate of a Semi-Automatic Firearm and United States Patent Number 8,127,658 entitled Method of Shooting a Semi-Automatic Firearm. The suit was settled in 2016 resulting in bump fire systems ceasing manufacture of the product in contention.